announcements reads as follows. It comes from the dust of Sister Joanne Stevens. Want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers, as well as his family. Want to pray for the brothers that minister along with him and their families. Want to continue to pray for the sick and the shut in the youth department. As always, we want to continue to pray for one another. On a prayer list, want to remember Sister Jean Owen from the Bronx Temple, uh, Mar Gaskill, Joy, Elizabeth Edwards, uh, Baby Girl Rainey, uh, Francesca Victoria Terrius, and the Archibald family. We want to continue to keep those in your prayers, and we'll continue down the list if it be Lord's will. Also, the meetings that will take place today, the mass choir rehearsal will take place immediately after the service on the musician side. And there will also be a youth event that will take place as well. And that will take place uh, upstairs above the gymnasium. They'll be giving out free tea, coffee, um, hot chocolate, and free desserts. Also, prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. if it be Lord's will. Next announcement. This comes from the First Church Culinary Team. It says the culinary team will be selling dinner platters today after the first service in the lower gymnasium. Your support is much appreciated as we strive to feed the saints and to be a help to the church. This comes from Brother Darren and the team. Next announcement says, greetings all. The 28th Youth Convocation, 35th Radio, and the 26th Telecast Anniversaries will convene March 28th through March 31st. Rooms have been reserved for First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. As we are approaching deadlines, there are rooms available for the brothers and sisters at the designated hotels. We are requesting that everyone book at these hotels. Attached is the hotel information. Information will be posted on the bulletin board in the gymnasium. And it says, brothers and sisters of the headquarters, the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ travel team is planning a group trip from the European Convocation in August 2024. The travel dates are August 13th, and the return on is August 19th. It says the QR code will be posted for sign up on the bulletin board in the gym. Uh, the next announcement is the upcoming events where Pastor Jennings will be at. Uh, the next one that will take place March 9th, that will be in Washington, D.C. at the Oni Shoreham Hotel. Again, that will be that Saturday and that Sunday. That's Saturday beginning at 5 p.m. Also, Richmond, Virginia. That will take place, Lord willing, March 23rd through the 24th, and that first service on that Saturday at 5 p.m. And the last one is the International Headquarters. That will be the 28th Youth Convocation, 35th Radio, and the 26th Telecast Anniversary. We'll be celebrating 40 years of leadership. As many as can come, we want everybody to come there to be able to celebrate that joyous occasion. And the next announcement, this is just a baptism count. This is a one-week report. Uh, it says 11 in headquarters, 5 in Bronx, New York, 5 in New Brunswick, New Jersey, 12 in Baltimore, Maryland, 1 in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, 6 in Greensville, South Carolina, 6 in Orlando, Florida, 13 in Miami, Florida, 3 in Naples, Florida, two in Jackson, Mississippi, eight in Memphis, Tennessee, one in Merce, Feeboro, Tennessee, 33 in Montgomery, Alabama, that took place yesterday, one in Augusta, Georgia, two in Columbia, South Carolina, three in Portland, Oregon, four in Los Angeles, California, four in Tulsa, Oklahoma, four in Houston, Texas, 10 in, Destro in Detroit, Michigan, two in North Chicago, two in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, three in Lafayette, Louisiana, nine in Cincinnati, Ohio, one in Dayton, Ohio. This is the International, one in Neverlands, eight in Jamaica, two in the Cayman Islands, four in Trinidad, one in Cape Town, South Africa, and one in Kimberley, South Africa. That's 168 souls. And for the upcoming dates, for we always post information about the upcoming baptisms that's taking place. So to be able to get that information, you can visit us at www.truthofgod.com. Again, www.truthofgod.com, so you can see where we'll be doing the baptisms. That will conclude the announcements at this time. Now for the most important part of the service, the word of God from Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. 
We thank the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We are grateful for the way of holiness that he revealed to his servants. For our learning, we're glad for all of you that are here this afternoon to all of our guests. God is the true sender and teacher of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. The way of holiness is the way that God designed for our salvation. We thank him for the perfect path that he laid for all of us and for the perfect word of truth. All of us can bear witness that God have had a profound effect on our life. Some way, somehow. You can never credit yourself. You have to give all the credit and all praise to God himself. So the many viewers that are watching, we are glad to come back into your homes and your churches and your restaurants, even in your bar. There's some bars here in Philadelphia, they, <laughs> they have this on their screen. Why they taking a shot of whiskey before they die and go to hell. <laughs> we had one man close his bar. He heard the message of holiness and repented and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and wrote us. You never know who's listening. You never know who's watching. We had one gentleman out of Baltimore. He was a known uh, fellow who had clubs and striptease clubs and bars and all of that. Just so happened my project manager knew him, but didn't know he was a member here. So one day he was talking to the gentleman and the gentleman was listening to us. He said, you listens to Pastor Jennings? He said, oh yeah. He said, because of him, I got rid of five clubs that I owned. I shut them down. And he said, the word that he preached hath changed my life drastically. Everybody need a change. Everybody. And there's nothing that can change you like God can. To you that are watching and you that are listening, remember next month will be our youth conference here. We already know you won't be able to fit. And yet we can get many hundreds, but it's so many people. And they keep coming in. Bible says of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Brother Kev, I'm glad to see you. I believe you had your surgery already. Made it through all right, I see. Thank God for you. Now to you that are in Washington, D.C., we'll be looking to see you next month. You can pack up and leave your churches now. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia, we're looking to see you next month. You got a few more weeks to sing your last song on your choir. Harlem, New York, God willing, I'm looking to see you in April, God be our helper. Pittsburgh, we're looking to see you also. It'll be my first time having service in Pittsburgh. We have souls everywhere, and everybody's writing us and asking us when I'm coming here, when I'm coming there. I, I don't have enough time in a year, not even in, in a year, to go every place that's asking us to come. Puerto Rico, God willing, we'll set aside, set aside some time to go to you that are in Puerto Rico, you that is on the island of Antigua, I believe it is. Yeah. To all of the brothers and sisters there, I hope to get a chance to stop in 
and visit you. Seattle, Washington, God willing, we will be, we will be back. California, we'll be stopping there on you. Denver, Colorado, we'll be there. So we'll give you time to leave your churches. Kansas City, Kansas, you preachers there. Leave your organization and stop sitting under your woman preachers. Leave it early and get your soul saved. This message that God purposed for everybody to hear is not my message. It's the message from God. So you that are getting very angry with us, I just want to remind you, you're really wasting time. It's just like fussing with the electric company because they gave you a thousand, a thousand dollar light bill. You burnt the lights and they don't prove to you that you burnt the lights. And when the discussion is done, you still have to pay that thousand dollars. When you're done fussing about us, you still have to repent. You still have to leave your Baptists and Methodists and non-denominational religions and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Who? Everybody. From your pastor down. Everybody. You see, when we preach the word of God, we're not just preaching to you that are here. There are millions that are watching. Some folks ask me why every time you still preach baptism until everybody obey it. In my lifetime, Jesus said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached. He left me instructions and said I should preach it should be. in his name. Among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Now remember we have the European conference coming up. That will be held in Berlin, Germany. I hope many hundreds of you can travel overseas and it will be a historical event considering in the past many years ago what happened in Berlin. How so many millions was murdered throughout Germany. It will be our first time. We've been to Germany many a time preaching the word of God. But this will be my first stop in the city of Berlin. And we look to bring Berlin, Germany, what they so badly need. Yeah. Now to you that are going, you need to know Berlin is a very racist city. And there are still Nazis there, skinheads today. They still parade in the city. Still hate blacks, still hate Jews, still hate Hispanics, still hate other ethnic groups other than the so-called Aryan nation. Well, that's where we need to be. Yeah. Amen. That's where we need to be. To tear down everything that's not like God because remember the Aryan nation claim that they are Christians Christ like people <laughs> that's a lie <laughs> they said America belonged to them well that's a lie who do America belong to? God. The whole world, the Bible says the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. So the president can come along and say, let's make America great again. <laughs> America is a wicked country. How much of it? All of it. There's a few righteous people, holy people. Like it was in the days of Noah, the righteous came in the ark. 
and the unrighteous was destroyed by the flood. So the thing that keep God Almighty from just destroying the whole world is because there's holy and righteous people still here. And he's giving you that are watching and listening a chance to be holy. And to be holy, he wants you to accept his holy word. So God willing, we are be in Berlin, Germany. And I hope that many of you throughout Canada, America and Africa and Switzerland and Belgium and London and everywhere get a chance to see what God is doing worldwide. You know, I thank God that this message is not just saving folks here in Philadelphia, but everywhere we go in the world, there are thousands that are coming to walk with God's word. And that's the way the apostles did it. Everywhere the apostles went, they had Holy Ghost results. Everywhere we go with God's word, God Almighty told his apostles, I make you fishers of men. And he didn't say if they're going to be one type of fish. <laughs> Anybody fishing in natural, you throw a net out there in deep water, you're going to catch some things you don't want. <laughs> one thing about the word of God, all kind of folk come in here. Amen. All type of backgrounds, but I'm glad for the power of the gospel. We have some that came here, some men that used to get dressed like women. Consider themselves transgender. They didn't get all the operations done, but they used to wear dresses and blouses and lipstick and earrings. Somebody say, I don't want a church like that. I do. God's gospel, God's gospel has saving power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I don't want a gospel that can't break that man down. And I want a gospel that'll break that man and make him pull off his dress and his high heel pumps. And yeah. Make him take that bra off and take all the cotton out of the bra to make it look like he got something up there. Make him pull his wig off and repent. Thank God, hallelujah, and go down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we have that type of preaching here. Men that used to be transgender and cross dresses. Now they're walking with the word of God. Someone say, who are they, Pastor Jennings? Don't you worry about who they are. <laughs> Amen. Don't you worry about who they are, but it's a blessing to know that God changed you. <laughs> Amen. We have some men and women here. They used to sell hardcore drugs. Some men used to have their own laboratory. We have some ex-pimps here, ex-prostitutes. None of your business who they are, long as God changed them. Yeah, man. It's not good enough to have a gospel that can pull me from religion, for God's gospel pulled me off the streets. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Amen. That's why I'm a keep fishing, brother Nate. That's right, I'm a keep fishing. Thank God I got the word. I, I, we got the scriptures as bait here. Even the rapping industry, more and more. They starting to reconsider what we're preaching. A brother was talking to me. He know he ain't got no business to listen to the music. No way. <laughs> But he said, look, I want to tell you, there's so many rappers now, they're including you in their music. He's saying there's one thing that they all saying that's in common. They starting to reconsider 
what you're preaching. If you consider what we are preaching, you are considering what is written here. Yes, Amen. You may be out there entertaining the world now, but what we're laboring for is that you may realize your soul is more important than your gold album. Soul is more important than Grammy Awards and having banquets and being complimented by your friends. The Lord said, all souls are mine. And that's what God wants, viewers, and you that are here, your soul. We're not over the air just for you to enjoy for pastime. That's not us. We're over the air that you might make it up in your mind to get right with God. Because Mr. and Miss, the Lord our God is coming. This is the message for the last days. We're here like John the Baptist in the wilderness, crying out, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And I'm beckoning to every man, every woman. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. If you're not going to do this thing like the word of God says it, stop going to church. Hear me, hear me good. Close up your churches. Who? Everybody. Close them up. Padlock your doors so you don't deceive another soul walking the earth. Because I'm telling you, when that time comes, you stand before God shaking worse than a leaf. Imagine Jehovah questioning you. You know, I think about Job, how God spoke to him out of the whirlwind. Can you imagine that? God Almighty talking to you. Listen, seeing a whirlwind, a tornado or a twister, that's bad enough. But imagine hearing a voice speak out the whirlwind. Out the whirlwind. The Bible said his voice sound like many waters. Voice sound like thunder. Roaring through the heavens. Can you imagine that? You better give me the book of Job, son. In the book of Job, chapter 38. I want everybody to hear me. Amen. Thank God and follow me real good. Job All right, Williams, let's have it. Job chapter 38, we'll start reading at verse 1. Yes. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Let me say this before we proceed further. We want all of our viewers and you that are here to remember that the international convocation, which will be in July, will be held in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, all of our subscribers, subscribers and all of our viewers, many of you have never came to hear the word of God in person. We hope that thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands. You know, I was thinking earlier this week, People by the thousands will go hear a concert. That's right. People by the thousands will go hear a rapper. That's right. People by the thousands will go see a politician when he's running for president. Viewers, you by the thousands to come hear the word of God that the world may see that there are still hundreds of thousands that believe in the God of Abraham. That's right. Yeah, man. Not this foolishness that's taking place in the mega churches. None of that junk. None of that. That's right. Something for real. Something that's really preparing you to meet God. 
Something that God stands behind. That's right. Amen. That's right. Notice what the word of God says here. Job chapter 38 and at verse 1. All right. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. My God, if Lord. imagine God Almighty talking <laughs> out of a whirlwind. Out Man, whirlwind. I, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. If the That's whirlwind's right. strong enough, you're trying to hide from that. Amen. Amen. A tornado or a twister come and tear your house up and tear your house down. You're trying to hide in the closet or hide in the tub so you don't get sucked away. <laughs> Give chapter and verse again, Williams. Job chapter 38 and we're at the first verse. Listen to this now. Then the Lord answered Job. Then the Lord answered Job. Out of the whirlwind. That's terror. Oh, yes. You That's know, terror. foolish people's. Many of them, all I wish God to answer me after the world went. Listen, you, you listen, listen. That's right. Some of you get nervous if you're pulled over by a policeman. <laughs> That's right. Imagine if the God of heaven speak with his thunderous voice. That's right. God Can you imagine that? God thundereth marvelously. Here, here, hear this now. In the book of Job, chapter 37, and we're at verse 5. Says what? God thundereth marvelously. This is Job, chapter 37, and verse 5. God thundereth, thundereth marvelously. Marvelously. With his voice. Hmm. With his voice. Listen, if God gone talk, <laughs> I rather... This is me talking now. <laughs> Give me the small, still <laughs> voice. That's right. That talk to Elijah. That's right. Give the thunder to other folk. That's right. You know, I think about Israel when they was cutting the devil while Moses was up on the mountain and people was acting like a fool at one time uh, before then when Moses... The people wouldn't hear the God of Moses. And they told Moses, we want to hear your God. We don't want to hear you. Let us hear God ourselves. Be careful what you ask. Eh? That's right. Let's read that way. In the book of Exodus chapter 20. I want to certify as I go. I want to take my time and teach you good today. Let's right. have it. Exodus chapter 20. We'll start at verse 18. All right. And all the people saw the thunderings. You better begin at verse 16. Exodus chapter 20 and we're at verse 16. Yes. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Don't desire what your neighbors have. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Hear, hear viewers. <laughs> Amen. When these dumb, ignorant television preachers tell you go touch the house that other folks are living in, Touch it and claim it. He's teaching you how to be covetous. That's right. Hey Amen. You come on and touch my house. <laughs> <laughs> when you find yourself in the paddy wagon, you will understand. That's right. You're going to claim prison. Yes, you will. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. All right, Williams, let's have it. Thou shalt not <laughs> covet thy neighbor's house. Don't covet your neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Don't covet your neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant, nor, nor his, his manservant. Servant, nor his maidservant. Nor his ox. Nor his ox. Nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes. And all the people saw the thunderings. All the people saw the thunderings. And the lightnings. And the lightning. And the noise of the trumpet. And the noise of the trumpet. And the mountain smoking. And the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. <laughs> they started backing up. They removed. <laughs> they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses. What? Speak thou with us. You talk to us. And we will hear. We're here. But let not God speak with us. <laughs> Do you hear this? <laughs> Amen. Viewers, you might as well tolerate us while we're here. That's right. Then to hear the voice of God split through the heavens. That's right. That's right. Because a day coming, the world going to hear God's voice. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12. 
And at verse 25. Let me give you a Bible for this. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 25. Says what? See that you refuse not See him that See that speaketh. you don't refuse him that speak. For if they escape not who refuse If you him, don't escape him that speak. That speak on earth. That speak on earth. Much more shall much not more. be escaped. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Much more shall you not get away. If we turn away from him if that speaketh from heaven. If we turn away from them. From him. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Only one speaking from heaven. From him. You three gods and two god fools. That's right. Only one speaking from heaven here. If we turn away from him, much more shall, shall you we not, not escape. Escape. If we turn away from him. If we turn away from him. That speaketh from heaven. That's why you better tolerate the preacher on earth. That's right. You better tolerate and listen That's and right. pay attention to God's preacher Th on right. earth. That's right. Now all these men ain't God's preacher. You might as well just stop thinking it. No way. Thank God because somebody got a cross around their neck and wear all black suits and a backward collar and drive a Cadillac. That's that right. don't mean he's a preacher. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Maybe looking at the undertaker. Amen. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. He whom God hath sent. Speaketh the words of God. Speak the, the words. words of God. The words of now God. hear me. If that man's teaching, That's right. preaching, don't coincide 100% That's it. from God's word, words. God did not send him. That's right. You better give me the book of Jeremiah, book of Jeremiah. if I'm not mistaken, chapter 23. Amen. And then you better balance that out with St. John uh, chapter 4, 4 and begin at verse 34. Jeremiah chapter 23 will start at verse uh, 18. I want you to follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. You know, Ron Skolesky, I've been getting, if you listen to me back there, which I know you are, <laughs> I've been getting quite a bit of requests really, from around the world that uh, they want the scriptures to come up on the screen. Mm. Uh, so, Ron, I want you to let us do that. Let the scriptures come up on the screen and the actual verse that Williams is reading mm -hmm. so that people can follow you in the Bible so that way they don't have no excuse when they die and go to hell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Go and take God. That's right. That way none of my haters... <laughs> Nobody can say it's not in the Bible. He made it up. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, huh? Amen. Go ahead and take God. Yes, right. it is. Yes, it is. It's in the Bible. So, Ron, I tell you what you can do. You can start with this message right here. Amen. And uh, if you're able to backtrack and pull the chapter and the verse, amen, and then... Uh, you can start with this message. He's probably now talking in the ear of Chikoria out there where the cameras are. <laughs> Amen. But uh, let, us, let us put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. That way my enemies can follow me in the Bible because many folk have never heard before what I'm preaching. That's true. And many things we preach about, folks never knew it was in the Bible. That's true. And yet they admit they never saw a preacher that gave Bible for everything. That's right. Yes, I have Bible for everything. That's right. Everything. That's right. Amen. That's right. The Bible is biblical instructions mm -hmm. before leaving earth. Amen. Biblical instructions before leaving earth, before you die. Before you die. Oh, right to God, I'm going to give you God instructions. That's right. All right, give chapter and verse again, Williams. Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start reading rather at verse 20. All right. The anger of the Lord shall not return. The anger of the Lord. Amen. I listen, I'd rather have you angry with me. Oh, yes. Yeah, man, I'd rather go to a city and have the whole city angry. That's right. Pet petitioning all out in the street and having bonfires and yelling and cussing at me. Listen, I go to sleep, I'm going to pay you no mind. Amen. But if God angry. Angry, that's right. Oh, my. That's right. You know, when I was coming up, 
when we have a thunderstorm and it's thunder and lightning, our parents taught us we, we, had, we, we had to sit down. That's right. We had to turn, couldn't, couldn't watch no TV, couldn't listen to no radios. And some old folks in the South would even cover the mirrors in the house. That's right. We couldn't play outside. We had to sit down. That's right. Because our parents would tell us God's talking. Amen. Folks don't pay that no mind now. No. They'd be out there smoking and drinking and running around and then lightning strike them. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> they don't care if God's talking. That's right. Listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 20. Yes. The anger of the Lord shall not return. God's anger. Amen. He declared shall not return. Until he hath executed. Until he hath executed. Until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart. Now. Amen. Until God performs what he thinks. That's right. That's his right. anger That's right. will not be over. That's right. Until God accomplish and fulfill That's what right. he's thinking. That's right. Thank you, Albert Viewers. Thank you very much. So you search the scriptures about what God said. Glory to God right. about every deed. Yeah that the world is doing against him. That's right. God anger. That's right. Will not return. The anger of the Lord shall not return. Until. Until he have executed. He have executed. Until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. Until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In Le the, uh, listen, I want right. to stay on the good side of God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. I want heaven pleased with me. Why you think that I don't care who we make angry? That's right. That's Long right. as it's not the Lord. Amen. I absolutely don't care about nobody else's anger on earth. Nobody. <laughs> That's right. From the White House to the ice cream man. That's right. I don't care about nobody anger. God judgeth the righteous. God judged the righteous. Now in the book of Psalms, chapter 7 and at verse 11. And then go back to where you were reading. Amen. Listen at this. God judgeth the righteous. God judged them that are right. And God is angry. God is angry. With the wicked. What? God is angry with the wicked every day. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, William. Amen. Amen. You bet. <laughs> Amen. You hear that, viewers? Psalm 7. You hear that? That's right. This goes for you that says he's a nice God. He don't hurt nobody. He don't afflict nobody. Some of you so dumb and so ignorant and deceived, you believe that God don't get angry. That's right. You better get chapter and verse again and read it plain. Psalm 7 and at verse 11. Says what? God judges the righteous. God judge them that are right. And God is angry with the wicked. God is angry with the we wicked. Would, we, we would say God is mad. That's right. God is angry. God is angry with the wicked. With the wicked. Every day. How long? Every day. How long? Every day. How long? Every day. Hallelujah. Every day. Amen. Hear me good? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You that are watching Hallelujah. and you that are here. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God declared. God is angry with the wicked. I'm angry. Hallelujah. Every day. Every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is not satisfied with the way the world is going. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not satisfied with the sinner. That's right. He is not satisfied with the churchgoer. That's right. God only is satisfied with those that please him. That's right. That's right. Glory to God because you go to church. That doesn't mean God is satisfied. No, no. What kind of church you go to? What kind of church? Because you are religious. That don't mean God is satisfied. What is your religion? That's right. Who start your religion? That's right. Who told you to have that religion? Amen. The religion that you profess is it what God profess? That's it. If you're not professing what God profess, throw that religion away. That's right. That's right. God judges the righteous. God 
judgeth the righteous. Glory to God, I just have to preach it. Oh, have to. Hallelujah. 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 I have to preach it. That's right. Glory to God, the zeal of God is upon us. Oh, that's right. Amen. He makes me preach it like we do. That's it. The Holy Ghost says it plain here. God judgeth the righteous. God judged them that are right. And God is angry with the wicked. How long? Every day. Every day. So don't go telling me you can dance and be a Christian. That's right. Don't go telling me you can smoke and you are a Christian. That's right. Don't go telling me the same sex marriage is all right in the eyes of God. That's right. Don't go telling me that sin is all right in the eyes of God is all right to us, not to God. That's it. God. Am I right? Amen. Amen. God declared and he's angry. God is angry with the wicked. He's angry at you, drug dealer. Every day. As long as you sell drugs, God is angry with you every day. Every day. As long as you party, God is angry with you every day. That's right. As long as you break God's law, he's angry with you every day. Every day. You can go to church, he's angry. That's right. You can preach, he's ahead, angry. Man. You can be on a choir, go God ahead. is angry. That's right. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you? God is angry with Hallelujah. the wicked. God is angry with the wicked. With the wicked. Every day. That goes for you that drink here. Every day. You that are alcoholics. Go ahead, go ahead. You that are living together, not married. That's right. That's right. Many of you is quick to say, where is your love? Here it is. That's right. The Bible says God is love. That's right. And love is declaring how he feels. That's right. God says. God is angry with God the is wicked. angry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the wicked. Every day. Every day. Every day. Hallelujah. Doesn't Hallelujah. matter if you're black, white, yellow, red, or brown. That's right. God is angry. Long as you're wicked. That's right. God is angry. God is angry. Every day. Every day. Every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. So you that got this representation, this Hollywood representation of God. Yeah. So nice all the time. And <laughs> he right. don't get angry. He don't get angry. That's not the real God of heaven. No, no. Some folks say, God is love, but he don't hate. He's a liar. That's right. He plainly says, Jacob I love, Esau and I Esau I hate. I hate it. I hate. That's right. Esau had a very rebellious nature. Yeah. Very stubborn, very hard head. Anybody can have the characteristics of Esau. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank God, I don't want God angry with me a half a day. <laughs> That's right. Less more every day. Every you day. You better hear this. You better hear this. You better hear this. You that's practice religion. Go ahead. You don't want God to be angry with you? Go ahead, man. Make sure re your religion is in the scriptures. That's right. That's you're right. Baptist, you're Methodist, you're Presbyterian, you're Catholic, <laughs> Protestant, non-denominational, Episcopalian, Lutheran, Pentecostal and all that stuff, go to the Bible That's it. and see that God Almighty profess to be any of those things. Of those things. Don't be that because some celebrity is that. That's Who cares? Right. That's right. That God told you to be Christian scientists and all of that stuff. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Not at all. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on, come on back to Bible. That's right. If you don't want the anger of God to be your punishment, punishment. every day, come back. That's right. The whole world, glory to God, has to come back. That's right. To what is written here. God judges the righteous. Remember, you better give chapter and verse. Yeah, you better write that down. Psalm 7. This is one scripture you better color in yellow. Color in <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You ain't got no yellow, you underline it. That's right. You living together, not married, God is angry with you. Oh, yes. Yeah? That's right. 
Amen. You're a racist. God is angry with you. That's right. Whether you are black racist or white racist, I don't care what color you are. God Almighty is angry with you. That's right. Yeah. Psalm 7 and verse 11. Amen. That cop pulls somebody over just because of the color of the skin. Oh, yeah. God is angry with you, Mr. Policeman. That's right. Oh, yes, he is. That's right. What? God judges the righteous. God judge the righteous. And God is angry with the wicked every day. Here. You men. Every day. You don't have your wife as the first lady in church. You have the first man. My Lord, my Lord. God is angry with you. Oh, yes. You that's taking God's house and turning it into a den of thieves. That's right. God is angry with you. God is angry. You preachers that have all these gimmicks and fake healing meetings and all of that stuff and hiring people and paying them off on the side to be in wheelchairs and yet oh, they yeah. drove to the meeting. That's right. God is angry with you. God is angry. You that hire people to just lie and say they were sick and then they pretend they're healed. God is angry with God you. Is angry. That's right. That's right. You better take God serious. That's right. You religious church hypocrites that been playing church before I was born. Amen. You thought you got away, didn't you? Amen. Thank God, but God's word is here now. That's right. With full force. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The word of God say how forcible are right words. Amen. What did he say? God judges the righteous. God judge. Amen. You can be a preacher. You can be a bishop, a elder, a so-called apostle, oh, yes. prophet or evangelist. You can hold any title you want. Yes. I don't care. That's right. The word of God talks so plain here. God judges the righteous. God judges the righteous. And God is angry with the wicked. He is angry with the wicked. Every day. Every day. That's something. That's something. You folk didn't know this was in the Bible. <laughs> That's right. And you looking at me now and drinking beer. Oh, yes. And you're looking at me now and laying up there with your girlfriend that you're shacking up. That's right. And others of you are laying up there, two men, mustache and beard. My Lord, my Lord. Glory to God, this scripture is for you. That, that's right. Eh? That's right. Glory be to the most high God of Abraham. And God is angry with the wicked. God is angry with the wicked every day. My Lord, my Lord. You Amen. men that abandon your families. That's right. And take care of some other woman in her family. Amen. What did God say? And God is angry with the wicked every day. You that ordain women to preach. Amen. What did God say? God is angry with the wicked every day. This isn't male chauvinism. This is Bible. It's Bible. Amen. It's Bible. I don't want the wickedness of God. Give me some more of that. Give let me read some more signs. Psalm 7 and at verse 11. Yes. God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Uh -huh. If he turn not. Listen. If he turn not. What you mean? If God don't change his mind. He will, he will wet his sword. He will do what? He will wet his sword. He will wet his sword. His sword. He has bent his bow. He has bent his bow. And made it ready. Amen. Amen. What does that mean? Amen. That means God going to strike you. Going to strike you. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. In the book of Habakkuk, the prophet said, out of his hands goes the arrows. The arrows. And then the scripture says, he's going to bend his bow. He will wet his He's going to punish you. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. He's going to smite you. That's right. And that's what God is doing now throughout the world. Oh, yes. He's smiting the earth. That's right. Proving to every man and every woman, thank God you don't own nothing. That's right. The reason why his anger is not out here full force, he's showing mercy. Showing mercy. Thank God because he already made it possible for everybody to escape hell. God already, he made it possible. That's right. He himself came in the flesh. That's right. Until Isaiah said, when your God when shall God come. God shall come. Your God shall come with a vengeance. That's right. 
You better give me the 35th chapter of Isaiah. And we'll start at verse 1. Says what? The wilderness and the, the solitary, wilderness place, and shall the solitary place shall be glad for thee. And the desert shall rejoice and, the and desert blossom shall as rejoice the rose. And blossom as a rose. It shall blossom abundantly. Glory to God, it shall blossom abundantly. And rejoice, and rejoice even with joy and singing. With joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon, the glory shall, be of Lebanon unto, shall be given unto the it. Excellency of the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord. What is it? And the excellency of our God. What are we going to do? Strengthen ye the weak hands. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Do what? Be strong. Be what? Be strong. Be strong. Fear not. Who's coming? Behold, your God will come. Your God? Your God will come your with vision. God will come. That's it. Wait, wait. Tell the public how God is coming. Even God with a recompense. With a recompense. He will come and save you. Don't tell me Jesus Christ wasn't God. That's right. The man of him wasn't God. That's it. But the spirit that was in him, that was God. That's right. The Bible says to wit God was in Christ Jesus, right. reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. So God was standing in the man Christ Jesus. That's right. God was standing in the Lamb of God. Go ahead. Man. God was standing in the Messiah. That's right. Jesus was the Messiah. That's right. Fulfilling of the prophets. That's right. Jesus was the Son of God. Right. He was the servant of the Most High. Right. Jesus was the Son of Man right. because he was the Son of the Prophet David. Right. Jesus was the Lamb of God Go ahead. because he was the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hey. That's right. He was God. Behold, your God will come. Manifested in the flesh. That's right. Behold, That's may right. look. That your God will come. Your God. Amen. Will come with vengeance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your God will come, will come with what? With vengeance. He won't he get you back. Oh, yes, he will. You that are wicked. Yes, he will. That he's angry with every that's, day. That's right. He's going to get you back. That's right. Amen. You that made albums and movies and cuss God and use the Lord name in vain, That's blaspheme right. God and amen. Uh, I forgot the preacher name. Oh yes, my cousin, Jamal Hypocrite Brian. My Lord. He got over social media hmm. and saying how God, Jesus was wrong and most of the things he done. Wow. Jesus was wrong. My Lord. And most of the things he'd done. You My see, Lord. if these men get so big, yeah. so rich, you people exalt these filthy, no good, no low good. down, poor pit dogs. That's right. Until you exalt them higher than God. That's right. And then they say things that they think now they got the authority to say. That's right. No man. That's right. It's greater than God. No, no. Am I right, I said? That's right. No man. No man. Is equal to God. That's right. No man is better than God. That's right. That goes for me. That's right. I'm not better than God, equal than God, greater than God. I'm a servant of God. That's right. I'm here to serve. That's right. Hallelujah. Jesus said, he that is greatest among you, That's let it. him be your servant. That's it. I'm here to serve. That's, it. That's why every time we preach the gospel, oh, yeah. we're giving you service. We're serving you scripture. That's we're it. serving you God's manner from heaven. That's right. Hey. That's right. What is that? Behold, your God will come Hallelujah. with vengeance. Your God will come will with come. vengeance. No return God Hallelujah. with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. He's coming with a recompense. He will come and save you. God said he will come and save you. Now Didn't look, it? listen. God said he will come and save you. He will come and he save you. He didn't do it the way he was That's right. because he was spirit. That's right. He was divine. He was perpetual. That's right. He was celestial. He was eternal. That's it. So God manifests himself in the, flesh in the flesh by creating a body in the body of the house of David in the tribe of Judah. And that holy thing which was born of Mary, that thing was flesh and blood, was called the Son of God or the sacrifice of God. And God was in that flesh, leaving an example for us to follow. That's right. 
His flesh was a sacrifice. That's it. His flesh was an offering. That's right. His flesh was offered up to atone for our sins. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Not that there was two gods. Oh no. The spirit is divine. Right. The flesh is mortal. That's the it. spirit took on mortal to show you how to live right for the divine. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Your God. Now hold your God will come with vengeance. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Your God will come with, with vengeance. vengeance. Even God with a recompense. And now when he came in the flesh, he fulfilled what Isaiah said he would do. He will come and save you. He, do, he will do what? He will come and save and you. And while he was here in the flesh, what did he do? Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Don't tell me that wasn't Jesus. That's right. The eyes of the blind, he opened the blind man's eyes. That's right. And, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Don't tell me that wasn't Jesus. That's right. He came along and fixed it so you can hear now. That's right. All right. Then shall the lame man leap us in heart. Don't tell me that wasn't Jesus. That's right. When he came on the scene, the lame man started jumping around. And the tongue of the dumb And sing. the tongue of the dumb sing. sing. In the, for in the wilderness, in the wilderness shall, shall waters, waters break, break out, out and streams in the desert. Streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool. Shall become pools. And the thirsty and land, thirsty springs, of land water. springs of water. And the habitation of and dragons the habitation with each of dragon with each lay shall become grass with grass reeds and rushes. And, reeds and, rushes. and a highway. What? And highway shall be there. Hallelujah. There ain't nothing else in the Bible. <laughs> That's right. This is the 35th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Now, viewers, this is why you hear me say there's no other religion mm -hmm. in your Bible Amen. or in my Bible Amen. other than holiness. That's right. Nothing else. Nothing else. I am not making it up. <laughs> That's right. I am not making it up. That's right. If you claim to be a Baptist or Methodist or anything else, Tell me, is God what you are? What you are. Highway! And a highway shall be there. Glory to God shall be there. And a way. What? And a way. What is it called, way? And it shall be called the way of holiness. The way of what? The way of holiness. Hallelujah. God wants you to be holy. Holy. That's Everybody it. got to just leave the churches now. You got to make a large exodus. That's right. By the thousands that come out of your churches. That's right. You better go back to where you were, son, the book of Job now. Back in Job chapter 38. There's and so verse... much Bible coming to my mind now. Yeah, my yeah. mind is flooded. Flooded. Amen. Amen. My mind is flooded. I want you that are here ahead, that haven't yet obeyed the word of God. You better consider your ways go today. Go ahead. If you go going to a church because there's black people there, stay home. That's right. If you go going to your church just because it's all white, stay home. That's right. Huh? That's right. The Bible says the mountain of the Lord house. Give me the second, second chapter, chapter of the book of Isaiah. Uh, no, give me Malachi. Malachi. Huh? Give me the second chapter Micah. of the book of Malachi. Micah. Amen. Let's get Malachi because he agreed with Isaiah. Amen. About what was going to happen here. That's right. Uh, he, he saw the mountain of the Lord house. That's right. Being established. Come on, Williams. What did he say? Micah chapter. Where at the book of Micah. All right. The book of Micah. Beg your pardon. The second chapter. The fourth chapter. The fourth chapter. Micah chapter four. And we'll start at verse one. All right. But in the last days it shall come to pass. Here it is. That's We're it. in the last days now. That's right. In the last days it shall come to pass. That's the mountain of the house of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Who house it belongs that, to? That the mountain of the house of the Lord. It's not Geno Jennings Church. No, no, no. It's the Lord's house. The Lord's house. The mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established, shall be established. in the top of the mountain. Glory to God is above everything. That's right. Shall be established in the top of the mountain. And it shall be exalted above the shall hills. Shall be exalted. That's it. Above the hill. And people. What? And people. What? And people. What? And people. And people. Shall flow unto it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you listening? People. Hallelujah. All right. Now you that are watching. Hallelujah. I know what you would say. Hallelujah. That mean all black people. Hallelujah. And the others of you watching would say. That mean all white people. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to break both of it up. Both of it up. All right, finish up Micah now. 
But in the last days and it then shall from come Micah, give me the book of Isaiah, of Isaiah chapter, chapter 2. Chapter 2. Amen. That's right. I'm going to show the world that God church is not all white, not all black, but it's just like, it, it, it's so many colors. Thank That's God, right. it, every color under the sun has to be born in God's church. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can stay out there and be wicked if you want and ignore it if you please, but you bear in mind you kindled the fire up under God that would never go out That's until right. you make a change. That's right. All right, son. Micah chapter 4, we're at verse 1. What is it? But in the last days it shall come to pass. That in the last days. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. That's the mountain of the house of the Lord. The mountain of the house of the Lord. Shall be established in the top of the mountain. Shall be established in the top of the mountain. And it shall be exalted above the hills. Shall be exalted above the hills. And people shall flow yeah. unto it. People. 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 Glory to God. That's it. People shall flow unto it. Unto it. And many nations shall come. What? And many nations shall come. Many nations shall come. And say, come and let us go up. And say, come and let, let us go, go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the mountain of the Lord. And to the house of the God to of the Jacob. the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us. He. He. Only the lessons of God should be coming out of God's house. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And he will teach us. Only the lessons of God That's it. should be coming out of God's house. That's right. He shall teach us of his ways. Who ways? His ways. You, yeah, you that are watching, you learning the ways of some religious order. That's right. Some secret order. <laughs> That's from right. From secret society. Amen. The wrong thing is being taught. That's right. You're learning the ways of Bishop. That's right. What he wants you to do. And I, no, 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 no. Oh, Let's no. come back to the Bible and teach you what God wants you to do. The Bible said that he shall teach us. Of his ways. <laughs> his ways. I won't move from God's ways. From that. Right. I'm not preaching nothing else under the sun but God ways. That's right. We're going to hold God ways. That's it. If the world burned down, that's right. Rest assure you that the truth of God Go is holding on to God's ways. That's right. Huh? And He will teach us of His ways. He shall teach us of His ways. And we will walk in His path. Now we got to walk a certain way. That's right. Not walk according to what your mother gave you, your father gave you, no, no. your girlfriend, your boyfriend, not that. No, no. Walk in his path. And we will walk and in his, his path. And his path is written. That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank God I say God's path is written it's, in the scriptures. That's right. And ain't nobody can blindfold you and initiate you into God's path. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Thank no. God you may be a mason or an elk or a fallen star or that's, eastern star. That's None right. of that bundle of trash for hell. That's right. Thank God you got to come God's way. That's and it. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. Didn't it? That's right. I am the way. I am the way. The truth and the life. That's it. No man come to the Father. But by me. Thank God except by me. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? And we will walk in his path. We will walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion. The law went out of Zion. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. All right. Now let me show you how when it said people shall come. That's it right. ain't talking about one race of people. Oh, no. Give me Isaiah chapter 2 and begin at verse 1. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Yes. And it shall come to pass in the last days. Here it is again. Amen. Because we're living in the last days now. That's right. It shall come to pass in the last days. That the mountain of the Lord's house. The mountain of the, here's Mi Micah said, the mountain, the mountain of, of the, the house, house of the Lord. Of the Lord. And here's Isaiah says, the mountain of the Lord's house. Shall be established in the top of the mountain. It shall be established, thank God, in the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted above the hill. Who's coming? And all nations shall flow unto yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. It didn't say just all Jews. You know, all nations. All blacks. That's right. Just all whites. No, sir. All nations. Everybody. Shall from every nation. Shall flow unto it. Shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say. Many people. Many people. Many? Many people. Shall go and say. Come ye. I hear it now. That's right. Glory to God. 
I hear many people saying now, Come ye, come on, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Let's go to the Lord's house. To the house of the God of Jacob. Why, what's in there? And he will teach us of his ways. Gary, listen, whenever you come to God's house, there is no other way supposed to be preached but the Lord's way. That's right. That's right. And you're going to find the Lord's way contradict your mama. Oh, yes. Contradict your daddy. Contradict your brother. Contradict your friend. Contradict everybody. Contradicts the world. That's right. Because God say, my thoughts is not your thoughts. Not your thoughts. You come along and say, oh, I thought Jesus was born on, uh, on Christmas. That's not in here. <laughs> God right. contradicts that. That's right. That's not the Lord's way. That's right. Oh, Easter's coming up. Uh, Jesus died. He rose on Easter. What about Ash Day? No! <laughs> that's right. And that's not in here. Oh, no. You, we don't walk around and put ashes out on our head. That's the tradition of men. That's right. And God's way, it ain't no Bible nowhere no. that says Jesus rose on Easter. On Easter. That's right. No, sir. Oh, no. We shall walk in his ways. In God's way. And we will walk in we his We will path. walk in God's path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. This is God's path here. That's right. Out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. From Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations. He shall judge among the nations. And shall rebuke many people. <laughs> Amen. That's why they, 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 they get upset over the word of God because it rebukes them. <laughs> they right. lays them out. That's right. Tell them to throw your cigarettes away and stop drinking, pretending you some Christian. Amen. 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 And stop, you men, take off your dresses. That's and right. you women, stop, laying, stop wearing your pants. That's right. What, Pastor Jennings? Give me uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. I'm, if I'm correct. That's right. Right. I don't blame you men and I don't blame you women. You don't have nobody to teach you nothing. Amen. You think it's all right to go to church with pants and walk the street with pants and wear pants in your house. You put pants on your little girls yeah. and put dresses on your little boys. That's right. Thank God I'm going to crush it because I'm going to bring it. you his way. His way. Huh? Deuteronomy chapter Never mind, 22. never mind. And say, oh, you can't wear that stuff at Pastor Jenna's church. No, the mountain of the Lord's house. Of the Lord's house. It's not Pastor Jenna's church of left to me I wouldn't have no church that's right no you leave it to me I wouldn't have no church no way I have a 1935 setting of a nice mellow jazz club <laughs> Amen. that's what I would have Amen. hey man I have a nice Steinway 12 foot concert grand piano with a horn with a trumpet with a mute in it I have a uh, <laughs> French horn. <laughs> I have a trombone. I even have a nice harmonica player like like Toots, uh, Toots the Thurkin that know what he's doing. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be up here preaching the word of God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, sir. That's right. I have a drummer. Tell him, don't use no sticks. Just use brushes to keep everything nice and mellow. And then I sit in my, I sit in my corner. Uh -huh. That's right. That's what I'll be doing. That's right. Oh, thank God. That's right. That's, that's what I'll be doing. Amen. Thank God, but I can't do that. No, no. God said, preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant. In season that's and it. out of season. Tell the world what's right. That's it. That's it. Tell them what's right. That's right. Never mind how they feel. Tell them what's right. What's right. What did he say, son? Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. What is it? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a you man. You women that are sinners, Amen. you don't know no better. Your parents didn't teach you nothing, no. many of you, because they didn't know. That's right. The church you, didn't, you go to, they don't teach you nothing. They just take your money. That's right. That's all the preacher is interested in. Yeah. How full is the offering pan Amen. or the trash can? That's right. He don't care if you die and go to hell that night. Amen. If it was possible to go to hell that night, if you had money in your hand while you're gone, he won't, risk, he won't rescue you. No. Put your run by and get that dollar out your hand. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and let you sink right down in there. That's right. Come on, son. The woman shall not wear the that woman which shall not unto wear a man. That which pertains to a man. God don't want you to look like no man. No. No. You look at a woman, you, sh you should know it's a woman. That's right. You look at a man, you should know it's a man. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you. Amen. The word of God says what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Oh. Amen. 
How do God feel about both? For all that do so. What? All that do so. Are all that got that your do mama, so. that got your daddy, your wife, your girlfriend, your brother, your niece, your nephew, your uncle, That's and right. that got your whole generation. All that do so. All, everybody that do it. Are abominations. Wait, wait, wait. Amen. No, God ain't looking at your hour. He looking at your eye. All that do so are abominations. That ain't what the word of God says. All that do so are abominations. All of you. Yeah. All that do so. All of you. You okay. hypocrite and Christians, all of you, all that do that so God are abomination. It's abomination unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. All right, let's go back to the foundation now. Back in Amen. Because we're covering a lot of ground here. Oh yes. Go back to the go back to the book of Job. Let's see what happened here. Back in Job chapter thirty-eight and at verse one. All right. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. The Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. And said, who is this that darkeneth counsel? Glory to God. Amen. Brother, when God talks, you've got to respond. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. When God talks, that's why he, he told his apostles, mm -hmm. it is not you that Amen. speaketh, that speech. but the voice of my father speaketh, speaketh, in, you. speaketh in you. In other words, the apostles wasn't preaching on their own. No way. But it was God, the Spirit, That's the Divine, right. the Holy One, That's the right. Holy Ghost that was speaking through the apostles. That's it. And Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Yes. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up, get up, get your thing together like a man. For I will demand of thee and answer thou me. That's something. Yeah. Brother, if God demand you to answer him. Amen. You're going to almost spit off yourself. Yes, You're you going to answer him so fast. <laughs> That's right. Hear this. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up thy loins. The White House. That's right. Parliament of Europe. Amen. Jamaica. Yeah. Bahamas. Canada. That's right. All of Africa. That's right. God is going to talk. That's right. God is going to talk. Gird up now thy loins and like a man. all the governments of the world. That's right. You gonna answer him. Oh yes. I don't care if you a prime minister, an ambassador, king, a queen, a emperor. You bad mind, you shall answer him, rich man. That's right. Poor man, beggar, I don't care who you are. That's God right. Almighty talk, you shall answer him. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Get your things together like a man. For I will demand of thee. God say, I will demand of thee. And answer thou me. And answer thou me. Where was thou when I laid the foundations All of All right, earth? mister, you thank you so much. Amen. Where was thou? Amen. Where were you? When I laid the foundation. You know, the, of the nation earth. of Islam teach there is no beginning to the black man. That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. Let me ask you the same question that God is asking Job. Where was the? Where were you? When I laid the foundations of the earth. When he laid the foundation of the earth. Declare. Where was Here, 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 man. Where <laughs> was the black man? Where was it? Where was the? Where was the black man, brown man, red man? When God laid the foundation of the earth, That's when right. there wasn't no earth, there was just God. Just God. That's right. That's right. All nations. That's right. Have a beginning. Oh yes. All nations. All nations. Where was that? Everything that was made had a beginning. Had a beginning. The only thing that wasn't made was God. That's right. That's why he's declared from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. He had no beginning. He had no ending. Without father, without mother, where man, no descent, no, no descent. beginning of days, no end of life. That's God himself. That's right. Where was thou? Where were you? When I laid the foundations of the you earth. You men out here that thank you so much because you got a mega church. You drive a Bentley or a Rose or a Ferrari. Okay. Hey man, you got your mansion sitting about 1,200 rooms and oh, hey yeah. man, 35,000 bathrooms. And <laughs> hey man, your, uh, your, 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 your bathtub is as big as my whole church. That's right. Big as the whole church. I don't care. That's right. Hey, man, I don't, listen, I don't care if your toilet is made from gold bullion. <laughs> My Lord. 
And when you sit on a toilet, you're high up like I am now. <laughs> and your legs just dangle. Swing your legs. That's right. Like a baby in the high chair. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God and your wife come check on you. Aren't you finished yet? <laughs> Amen. I don't care. Oh, no. Glory to God. You're going to come on back. And when God talk, I want to show you. I want to show you you have nothing but a speck of dust. That's all. Born of a woman. And you're going to die and go back to dust where you came. That's right. Huh? Where was thou? Where were you? When I laid the foundations of the earth. You high-minded, highly exalted I mean. hypocrites. Hey, man, you bear in mind. You, you just dust. That's it. They can give you titles in the Masons or in these secret orders, high order, Ku Klux Klan, high exalted dragon, and amen, <laughs> right. the Grand Poopa. The Grand Poopa. <laughs> That's right. Huh? I don't care if you're a member of Fred Flintstone's Buffalo Lodge. Amen. <laughs> I don't care. Don't care. I want every man and every woman that walk this planet right. to understand you're nothing but dust. That's it. And the word of God says, dust go back to, to dust. dust. And the spirit go back to God, who is the one that giveth it. So I don't hear yeah, you can glory in whatever you have. Glory in whatever you have. Glory in whatever you have. That's right. Have a good time now. That's it. It's all vanity. Amen. Amen. After, you, after you finish that up now, then we'll get Brother Solomon. Amen. Them that's having a good time. Right. And Solomon showed us how, what it's worth. What it's worth. All right, son. Job chapter 38, we're at verse 4. Yes. Where was thou when I laid the foundations Where of the earth? Where were you? When I laid the foundation of the earth. Declare. Tell me. If thou hast understanding. You got so much knowledge, you so deep. That's right. You got so many degrees. You know, a lot of these historians said man evolved from ape. You're a liar. That's a lie. Because the word of God says God made every, everything after his, his own, own, own kind. kind. And God said he made man in his own, in his image. own image. In the image of God created he him. So That's that right. contradict the scientists. That's right. The evolutionists. Yeah. I admit that some folk like monkeying around. <laughs> That's right. And some folk is just as wild as an animal. That's right. But a chimpanzee ain't my cousin. Oh, no. That chimp may be a chump, but he ain't my cousin. <laughs> That's right. Gorilla's not my cousin. That's right. Not at all. Not at all. Adam was made in the image, in of, image God, of God. Not in the image of some chimpanzee, you liar. That's a lie. Hear me, God. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? God talking. Amen. Catechize and Job, where were you? When I laid the, when foundations, I laid the, of the foundations of the earth. Declare if thou hast understanding. Tell me if, you, if your knowledge is so deep. Who hath laid the measures thereof? Who laid the measures thereof? If thou knowest. Here, here, here the scientists say the earth is 93 million miles away from the sun. That's, a, that's what they say. That's right. Well, how far is it? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. God didn't say it, so I don't believe it. That's right. See, I only trust the creator. That's right. He know how far he set the earth from the sun. That's right. But he never told us how far. No. All I know is far. It's far. <laughs> I have to stop right there. Far away. That's right. <laughs> huh? I'm going to stop where God stopped. That's right. I ain't adding nothing to it. I'm going to stop right there. Right there. Because I don't know no measuring tape that long <laughs> where I can measure 93 million miles away from the sun. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. From there, I want, the, I believe the book of Job, if I'm correct, mm -hmm. uh, or Esther, sort of wisdom of Solomon, that speaks about uh, the rotation of the sun. Right. Amen. I want to contradict the scientists if we science. got time. The scientist says that the earth uh, rotates and the sun stands still. But that's not what the Bible said. I admit the earth rotates because it revolves. But the sun don't stand still. The sun had rotation also. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon. Uh, yes, the wisdom of Solomon. Let's get Bible. That's why I love the word of God. <laughs> that's because right. it flattens everything. That's right. Give chapter and verse. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon. The book of the wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 7. Chapter 7. And we'll start at verse 17. Verse 17. For he hath given me certain knowledge. Yeah. Amen. See, there's the knowledge of man. Right. Then there's the knowledge that comes from above, God's knowledge 
certain knowledge, certain knowledge that can't be found in the college. That's right. You go get a textbook, any man written, you won't find this in none of their textbooks. No, no. Listen at this. For he has given me certain knowledge, certain knowledge of the things that are. Of the things that are. Namely, to know how the world was made. Amen. Holy. <laughs> go ahead, man. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. This knowledge is not found in the library. No. The history book said the earth came by a big bang theory. Right. Theory is just that. That's theory right. is not facts, but the God of heaven is a God of facts. That's right. He told us how the world was made. The world was made. In the beginning, That's God. Right. That's right. Glory to God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth. Oh, that's enough for me. That, that's enough. That's enough. That's right. I don't need no Big Bang Theory. That's right. That's an explosive lie. Hey, hey, man. That's all that is. That's an, right. an explosive lie. That's right. And the lie scattered. That's right. And went everywhere. Amen. Amen. Hear me good, hear me good, hear me good, hear me good. I want to roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. That's right. What does it say, son? For he has given me certain knowledge. I want to bring to you today certain knowledge. Of the things that are. Of the things that's here now. Namely to know how the world was made. We know how the world was made. And the, the operation of and the, the elements. Listen, and the operation of the elements. The, the beginning. We, we know the beginning. Ending. We know the ending. And midst of the times. The midst of the times. The alterations. The alter, where, where, yeah, where, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amen. What is it? The alterations. The alterations. Of the turning of the sun. Amen. Now you didn't know that was in the Bible. <laughs> That's For right. years, the scientists have said the sun stays stationary and the planets is the only thing that rotate and the light of the sun keeps hit each planet right. as it rotates. That's right. That's partial truth. That's right. The sun is not standing still because God didn't want it to. That's right. Look at how God made it. The alterations of the turning and of the, the sun. Bible never said the earth is on axles. No. Whoa, how, how is the earth hanging? You better hold that. Hold that. Hold that. In the book of Job. Let's show the people what the earth is hanging on. Job chapter 26 and at verse 7. Job chapter 26 and verse 7. He stretcheth out the north over. He's, he stretched out the north. Over the empty place. Over the empty place. And hangeth the earth. Hang the earth. Upon nothing. Uh, I, I, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. I just can't stop laughing because it right. feels so good in me. That's right. It feels so good to know how God wisdom contradicts everybody. That's right. You scientists said that the earth is on axles. axles. Why you think when you go buy a globe from a store, the globe that's on a uh, uh, some type of object, that object represents axles. Axles. That's what. That's why they sell. Globes like that. That's right. An axle at the top, an axle at the bottom. Right. And scientists says the earth rotate on those axles. Right. That's not what God says. He you see, out. God don't need axles. No. Oh, no. He's powerful enough to hold the whole universe. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. God don't need no axles. No. Not at all. Not at all. Listen at what God says. Give chapter and verse again. Job chapter 26 and we're at verse 7. Says what? He stretched out the north over the empty he place. He stretched out the north. Glory be to God over an empty place. And hangeth the earth. Hang the earth. Upon nothing. The earth is hanging on nothing? And hangeth the earth upon you nothing. You said that don't make sense. Oh, I know it don't. <laughs> That's right. I know it don't make sense to you. That's right. Why your mind is carnal and the carnal mind try to look at things logic and within reason. But here's the wisdom of God is higher than the wisdom of the earth. That's right. And, and hang the earth. Hang the earth. Upon nothing. Upon nothing. Upon nothing. What, what the earth is hanging on? Uh, nothing. nothing. How, is it, how is it up there? God's power. God's power. 
That's, huh? right. That's right. He made the earth by his power. That's right. Established the world by his wisdom. By his wisdom. And the Bible says he stretched up the heavens by his understanding. That's right. What? He stretches out the north he over the empty place. The north over an empty place. And hangeth the earth. And hang the earth. Upon nothing. Now go back to the movement of the sun. Back in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 17. All right, scientists, now come on back. <laughs> That's right. Come on back the Bible. That's it. And man, you theologists, come on back the Bible. That's right. I mean, you that been preaching this religious historical garbage that contradict the infallible perfect wisdom of the Most High, come on back the Bible. That's right. Huh? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 17. What did he say? For he has given me certain knowledge. That's what we have. That's it. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. <laughs> Amen. Thank God. That's what thunders from the pulpit That's here. That's right. Thanks be unto Hallelujah. God, certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge is not the wisdom of men. No. You can't be found in the history books. Oh, no. Can't be found in the college. That's right. Can't be found in the Messianic library. That's right. Can't be found in the nation of Islam. That's right. And man, they go to, and read the book of Elijah Muhammad, the wisdom, uh, uh, the wisdom to the black man, and they call it supreme wisdom. Man, there ain't no supreme That's, wisdom. Oh, no. God wisdom is supreme wisdom. That's right. Huh? For he has given God wisdom. That's right. God wisdom God. is supreme wisdom. Oh, yes. There is no wisdom that rival him. That's right. There is no wisdom that equal him. That's right. His wisdom don't need to be updated. No. His wisdom is forever and ever. And ever. His wisdom don't change with the times. Oh, no. His wisdom predicts all the times. That's right. Glory to God, what did he say? For he hath given me certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge of the things that are. Of the things that are. Namely, to know how the world was made. Namely, we're able to tell you how the world was made. That comes from certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. That comes from certain knowledge. I don't have to look through no uh, telescope. <laughs> That's right. I have a big, large telescope in my house, but I ain't looking through it to see how anything is made. No. No, no, no. I just look through it. If I look through it to enjoy what's me. What's me? Yeah? That's right. Go and take God. That's right. And when I look through it, that don't even tell me the details of nothing. No. Because the wisdom of God is higher than what I'm able to comprehend. That's right. Eh? Go and take God. What did he say? For he has given me certain knowledge of the certain things knowledge. that are. You know, this is so beautifully outlined. Oh, yes. He has given me certain knowledge. Of the things that are. Of the things that are. Namely, Namely, to know how the world was made. How the world was made. And the operation of the elements. And the operation of the elements. The beginning, ending, and the midst yeah, of the yeah. times. I know how the elements work. That's right. Somebody yeah. said, Pastor Jennings, yeah. all right. If you know so much, where is the wind? That blow, I tell you, give me the 30, give me the book of uh, Proverbs and see where the wind is stored. What is his name and what is the son's name? Amen. If thou can tell, I'll tell show show. you where the wind is. In the book of Job chapter, uh, book of Proverbs. The book Thank of Proverbs. You. Beg your pardon. Give chapter and verse again. The book of Proverbs, rather, chapter 30. This is certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. Uh -huh. And we'll start at verse 3. Yes. I neither learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. I neither learn, learn wisdom, wisdom nor have the knowledge nor of the have holy. the knowledge of the holy. Who hath ascended up into heaven? Who hath ascended up into heaven? Up into heaven. Or descended. Or descended. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Mm. Certain knowledge. How oh, I glory to God. <laughs> Who gathered? Who hath gathered the wind the in his wind. fist? In his fist. Who hath bound the waters in a garment? He hath bound the waters in a garment. In a garment. Who hath established all the ends of the earth? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What's his name? And what is his son's name? What is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Amen. Do you know who he is? Do you know who he that is? made everything? That's right. God is he. God is he. That made everything. That's right. All right, go back to the uh, book of Job so I can finish up. Back. My time is gone, man. I haven't got halfway where <laughs> I want to go. 
Haven't got halfway where I want to go. My God. Amen. So you that are watching, there are many things that we read today is causing you and it will cause you to go back to the drawing board. Yes, it will. Go back because it's debunking a lot of your teaching right. and debunking a lot of things that you were raised and debunking what we learned in school. That's right. That's right. Every school taught that the earth was on axis. It was on axis. <laughs> it ain't what God said. No. Glory to God. That's right. Come on, son. Back in Job 38 and verse 1. Yeah, man. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. The Lord answered Job out the whirlwind. And said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Yes. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up thy loins. Like a man. Like a man. For I will demand of thee. I will demand of thee. And answer thou you me. You answer thou me. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Where were you? Where were you? When I laid the foundations of the earth, here is eternal wisdom. That's right. Testing earthly wisdom. <laughs> That's right. Here is knowledge himself. Knowledge himself. Testing one who think he is knowledgeable. That's right. That's here right. is the highest, the highest. himself. Mm. Testing what's lower than him. That's right. Here is the creator. Questioning a creature. Amen. Glory to God, who wouldn't serve a God like this? That's right. Hear this world. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Where were you? Amen. Thank God when I laid the foundations of the earth. Declare if thou hast understanding. Tell me if you can understand. Who hath laid the measure? Do you know where you were at? Right. Where was When he laid the foundation of the earth, if you understand where you were, tell me. That's right. Where was thou? So he's, he's asking. That's right. When he laid the foundations of the earth, where were you at? Where were you? If you understand it, you know, tell me where you were. That's right. Because if you were somewhere, God doesn't know nothing about it, seeing that he's the one that made you. Amen. Amen. Listen at this. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? And what? Declare if thou hast understanding. Declare it if you understand. Who hath laid the measures thereof? Who if, laid the who if laid thou knowest. the measures thereof? If thou knowest. If you know. Or who That's hath, why I can't say the earth is 93 right. million miles away from the sun, because he asked, who laid the, the measures, measures thereof? thereof? Only God can measure anything and everything of the universe. That's right. Otherwise than that, I don't know. That's true. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how far the earth is from the sun. I just know the earth going to be burnt up. <laughs> that's it. That, that's what concerns me. Concerns you. Heaven and earth going to pass away and the works therein. That's right. But he that doeth the will of God shall abide forever. That's right. Come on, son. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Yes. Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Who have stretched a line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? Who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together. When the morning stars My Lord. sang together. And all the sons of God shouted for joy. All the sons of God. Amen. Shouted for joy. Or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth? That's something. Who shut the seas with doors, with doors when it break forth and no man made them. That's right. No man. No man. That's why you can't stop a tsunami or a flood. Man <laughs> can just sit back and look and cry. <laughs> That's all. Look at his car, his wife, his couch, his television set, all, his flat screen all going down the road. That's right. You know, one of the most dumbest sights I've seen was when Katrina hit. <laughs> and uh, one man, the helicopter was flying overhead, and there was one man trying to steal the flat screen <laughs> TV, holding the flat screen over his head. My Lord, my Lord. <laughs> Here is the water up to his neck. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. And he was so foolish trying to save a flat screen. My Lord. And he has nowhere to plug it up at. That's right. 
Man, if that was me, I would have got on that flat screen and made a raft out of it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I would have got on that flat screen and laid my belly on it and try to save, try to go somewhere to save myself. That's right. Oh, you're so foolish and so deceived of the so, devil. So deceived. Hear me, God. Or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth? Who shut up the seas with doors? When it break forth. When it break forth. As if it had issued out of the womb. Yes. When I made the cloud the garment thereof. Look, look at here. Amen. When I made the cloud The garment thereof. The garment thereof. And thick darkness a swaddling band for it. I made thick darkness. A swaddling band for it. A swallowing band for it. And break up for it my decreed place. I, I do what? And break up for it my decreed I place. I break up for it my decreed place. And set bars and doors. I set bars and doors. And said, hitherto shalt thou come but no further. Yes. And here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Yes. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? Look how God is testing this man. Yeah. Testing him. There was God wants you to know how dumb you are. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. How dumb you are. Thank God he got this written to show man you not you don't know much of your creator. No. That's why you don't know what your creator want out of you. That's right. You get a little bit of knowledge and get a few degrees behind your name, That's a right. master's, a bachelor's, a doctorate, an associate's, a man, and now you thank you somebody. If you got those degrees, that's all right. That's all right. But now you think you're higher than you ought to think. That's right. The Bible says, let no man think no higher than he ought to oh, think, but think soberly. That's it. Out of all your education, hear me good. Let us not forget the God of heaven ruled That's right. in the kingdom of men. That's right. And there is no knowledge, no wisdom, no understanding That's right. higher than the great God himself. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. None. Amen. Yeah, my God. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? Hey, 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 man. Amen. There ain't no man out here command the morning. No. He wake up and glad he's alive the next morning. That's right. Ain't no man out here command the morning. No. He out here shooting in the morning, drinking in the morning, cussing and stealing in the morning. That's right. All right. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? Did you command the morning since you've been on the planet? And caused the day spring to know his place? Do you know, did you ever tell the day to, his place? To know his place? Now I want you folk out there that are listening, talk about daylight saving time. Let me educate you. Mm. Turn your clock forward. What is it? Spring forward, fall backward? Spring forward, fall backward. My wife know about heart. She tell me spring forward, fall backward. <laughs> you can turn your clock 10 hours ahead. Mm. The sun is not determined by something man-made. That's very true. If you don't believe me. That's true. According to man, the clocks will go forward in March. Have you noticed daylight already got longer? That's right. Huh? That's right. No man have touched no clock. No, they didn't. You know, when it's about December, about four o'clock, it's dark. Right. Now it's after five o'clock, going on six, still some daylight, the sun is starting to go down. That's right. If you never touch a clock. <laughs> That's right. Never. The That's sun true. gonna linger as long as God wanted. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you? That's right. What is that? Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? All right, man, you thank you so much. Amen. Have you ever commanded the morning since your days? And caused the day spring to know his place? Do you know the day spring? Can you tell the day spring its place? It's pla that it might take hold of the earth. That it may take hold of the earth. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth. That it may take hold of the ends of the earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it? Yes. 
It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. Uh -huh. And from the wicked their light is withholding, mm -hmm. and, and the high arm shall be broken. Yes. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea? Yes. Or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? Yes. Have the gates of death been opened unto thee? Mm. All Joe can stand there. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Every question, Every question. Joe Ben had no answer to. No, he didn't. That's right. Why? It was too deep for him. That's right. This, this is the supreme wisdom. Oh, yes. The wisdom of God is the supreme wisdom. That's right. Not the wisdom of men. No. Read quick, son. Have the gates of death been opened unto thee? Yes. Or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Yes. Hast thou perceived the breadth of the earth? Yes. Declare if thou knowest it all. <laughs> Amen. All right, Job, let me hear what you got to say if you know anything about it. That's right. What is it? Where is the way where light dwelleth? What? Where is the way where light dwelleth? Where do light come from? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof? <laughs> darkness, where is it placed? That thou shouldest take it to the bound thereof. Yes. And that thou shouldest know the paths to the house thereof. Yes. Knowest thou it because thou was then born? Yes. Or because the number of thy days is great? Yes. Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Mm. Oh, the world no. didn't even know that there was treasures in the snow. Tre that's right. That's right. Have you entered into the treasures of the snow? Into the treasures of the snow. Or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail? Have you seen the treasures of the hell? Which I have reserved against the time of trouble. Reserved against the time of trouble. Against the day of battle and the war. The day of battle and war. By what way is the light parted? <laughs> where, the, where does light come from? Which scattereth the east wind upon the earth. Yes. Who hath divided a water course for the overflowing of waters? We might as well just stop. <laughs> That's right. My God, man, it's too deep for any of us in here. It's too deep. That's right. Man, it's just too deep for you. Oh, yes. And God knew it was. That's right. Because this is supreme wisdom. That's right. It's the wisdom of Jehovah himself. That's right. The wisdom of Elohim, God. Touching the Almighty. The Bible says. In the book of Job, chapter 37 and verse 23. Touching the Almighty. The Almighty. We cannot find him out. You can't find him out. He is excellent in power. He is excellent in power. And in judgment. And in judgment. And in plenty of justice. And plenty of justice. He will not afflict. He will not afflict. Men do therefore fear. Hold it. Amen. Let me explain that. Explain that. Because he afflicts Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, he did. And he afflicted the earth with a flood. That's right. So when he said he will not afflict, will not that's afflict. on terms. Right. You have to do his will if you don't want to be afflicted. That's right. Read quick. Men and Job 37 and verse 24. And then I want to close out at Acts 38. Men do therefore fear him. Yes. He respecteth not any that are wise of heart. Wait, 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 Amen. wait, wait. Amen. I remember I said on one broadcast, I don't respect no man's religion but the ways of God. Right. And somebody con uh, commented and said, that's why you're so narrow-minded mm. and you're so high-minded. You, you don't respect no man's religion. The religion of men is the wisdom of men. Right. I'm talking Bible. Men do therefore yeah, yeah. fear him. Give chapter and verse. Job chapter 37 and verse 24. That's how I feel. Men do therefore fear him. They fear him. He respecteth not any. God don't respect any. That are wise of heart. There's not a wise man on earth does God respect. That's right. That's right. Hear me, God? That's not right. one. He respecteth not any. All of you wise men, or oh, thank you, wise. Man, thank you, you wise. don't have the respect of heaven. No. None of you. <laughs> That's right. I don't care if you got a diploma until it's a scroll about the size of a king-size bed. My Lord, my Lord. 
God do not respect any, any that are wise of heart. That are wise of heart. That's right. Acts 38, son. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. Wise man and wise woman. That's right. Who think you are saved. That's right. Believe you some Christian. Mm -hmm. Because of your religious persuasion. That's right. Because you can't do what you don't know. No. That's why so many of you bow your head and raise your hand and was told to accept Christ as your personal savior. That's right. And that never was in the Bible. No. Join the church. Pray a sinner's prayer. Hold a preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. And he said, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. <laughs> Wash me white as snow, come into my heart. Right. And when you dumb, the preacher say you saved, you no more saved than a dog can tap dance. Amen. And I ain't never seen a tap dancing dog. No. You're not saved. No. Bow your head and raise your hand or you saw some false prophet on television and he told you put your hand on the screen and let Christ come into your heart. Christ ain't come nowhere near your heart. That's right. Only thing you got a warm hand from a flat screen Sony television. <laughs> That's right. Come on back. I'm bringing you back to the wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. He told Nicodemus, verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. except the man is born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter to the kingdom of God. That's right. When you're born of the waters, when you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you're born of the spirit is when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, which is the spirit of God speaking in another tongue like they did on the day of Pentecost as the Spirit give utterance. That's right. Bible says in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Not join the church. Amen. Not anybody want a church home, stand up, and I give you a home, and the choir starts singing for you. I am praying for you. I am praying and you standing there, start crying with your fake eyelashes getting detached from your eyebrows. <laughs> God wants you to repent. 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 Who? Everybody. That's right. God wants you to repent. Be sorry about your sinner life. That's right. You're drinking and dancing and partying and living together, not married. Yeah. Divorce and all of that foolishness. All of that. Being in your fake man-made religion that had never been in the word of God since the word of God been here. That's right. He wants your daddy, your mama, you, oh, your yes. sons and daughters, everybody. That's right. First thing you got to do, repent. repent. That's when the word of God convicts your heart. That's it. And you become tired of the life that you live in. That's right. Just look at the life you're living. You've been doing the same thing since you was 15. Yeah. Aren't you tired yet? Yeah. If you're not, you just ought to be. That's right. Listen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. 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 And repent. And what? And be baptized every one of you. How much? Every one of you. I got you, black man. Black man. White man, yellow yeah. man, brown man, and red. That's right. And if you plaid or stripe it for some reason. Amen. 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 It got you too. Oh, yes. And if you're any color out there that I don't know anything about, it got you. That's right. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Lord. Yeah. That's right. Bible says in Acts 9, 5, Brother Saul asked the Lord, who is God? Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Oh, I'm Jesus. <laughs> and if the Lord says I'm Jesus, I'm going to say the same thing. That's right. The Bible ain't never said Jesus is the second person in the Godhead no. or the Holy Ghost is the third person person in the God here, no, no, you no. Trinitarian fakers. I'm still waiting for those scriptures. That's right. You've been yelling about me for years on social media. All you got to do <laughs> is bring my nose down to Bible. That's right. 
where Jesus said he's Jesus the second said. person. Right. And the Godhead That's right. or the Holy Ghost is the third person. You will die by generations because <laughs> those scriptures have never been nowhere in the Bible. That's right. Nowhere. Nowhere. Where did that lie come from? Amen. It came from Rome. Yeah. The Catholic Church was the first one that authorized that lie. And That's here right. God come along and smash that lie up with his word. With the word. Repent and be baptized. How much? Every one of you. That goes to all you that are here. Amen. You got to take the way you claim you've been saved. If it's not according to what's in here, you ain't saved. Right. Oh, don't tell me I'm not saved. I don't care who you are. You ain't obeyed what he's reading now. You're not saved. You're not saved. I don't care if you thought you was a Christian for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Flash, flash, news break. That's right. That's right. I'm a reporter, you know. That's right. Amen. Now, 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 the Bible says, by faith, the elders obtain good a good report. Now, I'm a divine journalist, That's and right. I got a report to give you. Oh, yes. Amen. Extra, extra, read all about it. Repent. 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 You ain't saved. <laughs> That's right. Until you, until you obeyed what he's reading, you not saved. That's right. Repent and be baptized every one of you. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift now of the Holy Ghost. Now go to some Catholic church and be sprinkled. Yeah. All of you been sprinkled in the Catholic, Episcopalian, Amen. Protestant, Lutheran church. You and your children ain't never been baptized. No, no. Yeah, my God. That's right. All of you have to be baptized oh, over. That's, that's right. no baptism. No. Well, you go before a bowl and baptize somebody. Amen. Your whole body whole got body. to go down in the water. That's right. Let me get Bible for that. Romans chapter 6 and we're at verse 1. Says what? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not? That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ? What? Were baptized into his death? Please tell the people what happens when you're baptized. Therefore we are buried with him. Oh no. Amen. We are sprinkled with him. We are buried with him by baptism. How many here will sprinkle some time in your life? Raise your hand. Amen. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit of you. All right. Amen. Amen. Bible calls for being buried. buried. Whole body going water. That's hear right. me good? You that are listening. If you've been sprinkled, you just got wet. When that preacher throw water on you, throw it back on him. That's right. You're not baptized. Not baptized. Who? None of you. That's right. There's not a pope or archbishop or so-called priest that ever baptized anybody correct. Amen. Not one. Amen. Not one. I want to give you the supreme wisdom of God. That's right. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy when Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, you're filled with God. That's it. That's the Spirit of God. Now, anybody here want to get it right? Yeah. Bible right? Mm -hmm. Scriptural right? Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. After you repent of your sins, you, repent. you want to be baptized the right way, That's stand it. on your feet if you want it. That's, right. That's one. We got some more back there. Go to them. Amen. You that are standing there, go to them. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. God gave us all something good today. Amen. 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 Remember, let's close out with this anger again. Back in Saul. He's angry every day. I, I want to close out on that. That's, that's, amen. Amen. Because I don't want the anger of God at me. I want you wicked folk. That's right. You wicked, you hell-bound, devil-deceived, wicked money-stealing and money-laundering and money-loving mm. preachers. That's right. 
You religious folk that go to some so-called church. Yes. Amen. Amen. Where they just party in the pulpit, disco lights. That's right. That's right. Wicked, wicked, wicked. wicked. Amen. I want to tell you how God feel about every wicked human living. Psalms 7 and at verse 11. Chapter and verse again. Psalms 7 and at the 11th verse. What is it? God judgeth the righteous. God judge the righteous. And God is angry with the wicked. God is angry. With the wicked. With the wicked. Every day. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. We're giving the correct time, brothers. All right, it's 2.39. We'll come back at 5 o'clock in the lower auditorium. You come on back in the lower auditorium for, as Brother Nate says, part two. <laughs> Let us all stand and Minister Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you once again for thine word. We thank you, Father God, for the truth of the gospel. We thank you, Lord God, how you blessed us and allowed us to hear the truth. Bless us now not only to be hearers, but doers of the truth. Remember the pastor, oh God, we thank you how you put, hallelujah, how you put the word in his mouth. My God, continue to strengthen him and bless him and protect him by thine spirit. We thank you, Father God, so much for this opportunity. My God, to learn thine wisdom, to learn thine knowledge and thine understanding. Bless us, O oh God, and keep us as we go and come again. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.